Hello, my name is Sean Dorney and this is my Survivor audition tape. So a lot of people ask me, Sean, how do you get that chosen by Satan beautiful skin? And well, the first step is sleeping until 3 p.m. with my cloud goggles fastened securely to my face. Next step is to go into your roommate's room because she told you that your feet stink two days prior. And then you're going to make a sacrifice on her bed, making it so that she will never be able to see again. Immediately following that, I will brush my teeth with the tears of a thousand souls. Check out that bling. Next, I will ask my roommate if she wants any coffee, and then leave. Be sure to fasten your voodoo doll securely to the passenger seat. Another one of my hidden talents is I make a mean fucking martini. Another one of my hidden talents is making voodoo dolls and summoning dark spirits to uh, possess them. So why would I be a good candidate for Survivor? <laughs> All right, everyone, that is the end of my Survivor audition tape because my laptop just broke. Um, so I have to call Apple, which is closed. Mm -hmm. And everyone have a great day because I sure as fuck won't. Coronavirus fades, but clout is forever. I'm Sean Dorney, and this is the Bi-Weekly Show. Due to the postponing of the Kentucky Derby, a new sport has filled its spot. Fans can now watch the Kentucky Turtle Derby on YouTube. Officials say the most difficult aspect of the race has been getting the jockeys to balance on the tiny little turtle saddles. New Jersey has seen a significant drop in daily new coronavirus cases for a consecutive two weeks. When asked about their recent success, the state said, forget about it, get out of here. A driver was stopped in, on a Utah highway last week for impaired driving. To the trooper's surprise, it was a five-year-old behind the wheel. Even more surprising, he blew a .09. Last week, a Canadian cat alerted his owner to a fire in their kitchen. To wake his owner, the cat said, Wake up, motherfucker. If anything is going to kill you, it's going to be me, so go put that bitch out. Police in Wisconsin rescued a deer that was stuck in soccer net in City Park. The final score was Foxes 3, Deer 0. Hi, everyone. Um, so good to uh, kind of see you all again. For our first guest of the evening, we have... Oh, wait. Wait one sec. Hold on. Guys, I'm sorry. This is weird. My grandma just invited me to a Zoom call. I have to take this. Grandma? Hello? Hello? Grandma, 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 I think you're muted. Bottom, bottom left, red button. Yeah. Sean, hello. You look great. Interesting, interesting haircut, but you look great. What are you doing on my computer? Hi, Grandma. Thanks. Um, but you actually called me. What's up? Oh, nothing. I've been stuck inside my house, Sean. You gotta be careful. Did you know that there is something called the coronavirus going around? Yeah, um, I've absolutely heard of the coronavirus. Classes were removed entirely online because of it. Oh my goodness, that's terrible, Sean. Yeah, no, it sucks, but 
Um, Grandma, I think your camera might be sideways. Oh my goodness, what? Okay, okay. Um, okay. Okay, okay. I think I uh, fixed it. Is this better? Yeah. Oh, I, I can't see myself. Where am I? Oh, why does it look like I'm in a casino? Damn those slot machines. That, I have no idea. You had to have done that yourself. What? Are you talking to yourself? No, I'm talking to Sean. He found me on the computer. Hi, Grandpa. What? Who did you say it was? Who's Dawn? It's me. It's Sean, your grandson. I said Sean, you idiot. Sean, you gotta stay inside. There's this coronavirus going around. I already told him, Fred. He said he's heard of it. Is there anything else you need? I can call you later. I'm just kind of in the middle of something. You have legs? Get it yourself. I'm talking to Sean. He called me. Grandma, I didn't call you. I'm busy right now. I can't even really talk. So tell me more about your online classes. Sean, hello. I can see you, but I can't hear you. <sighs> Why can't I hear you? Hi, do you hear me now? Oh, yes, that's perfect. So what about your classes? They're all on the computer? How do they do that? Yeah, all my classes are online. We actually do them like this over a video chat. Oh, Fred, enough! I said I'm talking to Sean right now. Do you listen? Sorry, sweetie, one more time. Grandma, would it be okay if I call you back on the phone later and tell you about it? I have something I need to get back to. Oh, Sean, of course. Why didn't you say you were busy? Oh, I'll call you back in 10 minutes. No, 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 I'll still be busy then. I'll just call you, okay? Love you, bye. Bye, sweetie. Not now! Did you wash your hands for 20 seconds? Obviously. Kids, kids, can someone help me with the groceries? Anybody? Beautiful. Two hours later. Yeah.
And that is why the coronavirus is a hoax perpetrated by the lizard people of the government to replace all the batteries in the spy pages they have placed around the United States. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. With states enforcing stay-at-home orders amidst the outbreak of the coronavirus, many families have found themselves at home and spending a lot of quality time together. Here with us today is stay-at-home mom, Pam. Hi, Sean. Thank you so much for having me. Is, is the camera okay? I'm still getting the hang of Zoom. <laughs> yes, Pam, you look great. Um, so tell us what it's like being a stay-at-home mom during these unprecedented times. Like, what's changing for you? Yeah, well, I, I just feel so lucky to have my family all together. And what? what? Bryce, Bryce, I'm on a call. Can you go ask your father? Hey, hey, close the door. I'm, I'm so sorry about that, Sean. It's not a problem. We completely understand. <laughs> I mean, you know, the, the life of a stay-at-home mom, am I right? <laughs> I can only imagine. So uh, can you tell us what your day-to-day -day schedule is like? Yeah, of course. I usually get up around 6 and try to get a workout in, you know, a little me time. And then I start on breakfast before getting the kids up around 8. And then after breakfast, we... Bryce, Bryce, I asked you to go find your father. Please, mommy is in a meeting. <laughs> your son is so cute. Hi, Bryce. How old is he? Old enough to know how to follow directions. Oh, um, all right. So uh, back to your day-to-day -day schedule. Right, right, right. I'm so sorry. So after breakfast, I try to set the kids up in a quiet space with their devices so that they can attend their online classes. Right. So um, how is the remote learning going? Are your kids enjoying school? Yeah, the remote learning is it's going really well. The kids are really engaged and they love honey. Honey, honey, what is happening? What did your brother do to your hair? Oh my god, where is your father? Oh my god, Pam, what's going on? Is everything okay? What? Yeah, everything is fine. Everything is totally fine. I mean, the life of a stay-at-home mom, right? Where the hell is your father? Do you need to go? Like I completely understand if you, absolutely, like... absolutely not. I've got it all under control. Everything is going great. We are doing great. That's not really what I was asking. We are doing fantastic. I love hanging out with my family at home, spending time together all in one place, all of the time, with no indefinite end in sight. Okay, um, can someone get Pam a drink or maybe a couple Xanax? We'll be right back. Hello everyone, um, it's me Emma. I am home in New Jersey because of quarantine. So I just wanted to say that now is a really important time to you know, focus on self care, do a face mask, eat right, go on a jog, pick up lots of new hobbies. Um, these are things that I've been doing and I just figured it would be awesome to share it with you guys so that maybe you could follow along and come on this journey with me. So today is day three of quarantine and my first day of this Hello vlog. Again. Just got back from my morning jog in the pouring rain. Um, now I'm gonna make coffee and then probably do homework the rest of the day. So not too exciting, but I'll catch up with you guys later in the week. All right, so the weather isn't the nicest today, um, but my dog is chomping at the bit to go outside. So I think my sister and I are gonna take him for a little drive and then probably for a walk at the park. Okay, so I do not know if you guys can hear that, but it, so it sounds like there's a rat in my wall. I don't really know what it, if, if it is like a rat, but it's just really been messing up my sleep schedule. I've been like staying up all night because all I hear is the sound. It's so weird. It is so nice out today, so I am about to go for a bike ride. 
guys so the other night i'll admit i had a few glasses of wine and i guess i was shopping online and i ordered um 50 beanie babies um so i don't really know what i'm gonna do with these but they're they're kind of cute i guess oh, that's my cat all right so it is day 34 of quarantine i was actually super productive today i just like worked on some fun things though um i'll be showing you guys in like the upcoming videos but they all came out super cute and it was a lot of fun to work on okay so here's the first thing i was working on it is a painting of my roommates and i i think it's gonna look so good and then this is some embroidery that i've been working on the past few days Hey everyone, it is day 54 of quarantine. I am sorry that I've been kind of MIA. I just have not slept the past four nights because of the sound of rats in my walls. Um, it's currently 4 a.m. I was just lying in bed and I was sitting there listening to the rats, listening to the rats, and then all of a sudden I just, I came to a realization. These rats aren't just running around. They are trying to communicate with me. So I hurried over here to the wall and I started tapping I started tapping to the rats like that and then listen did you hear that that's them that's them tapping back to me so then I cracked the code it is Morse code the rats are, are trying to leave me messages and I will continue to solve I'll, I'll solve this I'll solve this case and I will be sharing it with you I will continue to work on this throughout the rest of quarantine so stay tuned for my next video thanks all right. Um, hi, everyone. We have a very special duo here to discuss baking during quarantine. Quinn and the ghost that haunts her house. Hi, Sean. We're really happy to be here. Well, you're happy to be here. I was dragged here. Are you serious? In front of my friend? Um, I'm not your friend. <laughs> <laughs> I told you you were a loser. Can you please just knock <laughs> it off? It's every fucking minute with you. All day you have something rude to say. All day, every day, you just sit around drinking wine and rewatching Glee. It's not hard to make fun of you. Oh my god, that's so embarrassing. You watch Glee? Um, okay, Mr. Quarantine Haircut. I don't think you have a lot, to, a lot of room to talk right now. What do you watch, The Office? Actually, I've been rewatching Riverdale, thank you very much. <laughs> Even that's better than you. Seriously? You're taking his side? I saw you ugly crying when the Glee Club lost nationals. Don't lie. Jesus, can you please just, like, grow up? Like, and turn your camera on so we can all see your stupid jerk face. I'm a fucking ghost, Quinn. I don't show up on camera. You would know that if you ever bothered to ask about me. But no, it's always the Quinn show. Don't be like that. You think I want this? You think I like fighting? I brought you here so we could work this out. Um, actually, to be clear, you're here to discuss quarantine and, like, baking and, like... Oh, you want to get real? Yes, please. Let's talk about this so you can stop levitating my fucking cat every time you get annoyed. Wait, they what? You can't just leave and suddenly come back and pretend everything is okay. I have feelings too, you know. I did not leave. I went to college. Nice try, asshole. I know you're not smart enough for college. I watched you cheat every test and homework your way through high school. Okay, shut up, Casper, if that's even your real name. It's not. You start calling me that as some kind of racist joke. You never asked my name. It's Leslie. Oh my god. I I'm so sorry. Yeah. Who's the fucked up one now? Listen, can we just start over? Yeah, and can you guys please just give us some baking tips? Shut up, Sean. Yeah, Sean, stay out of this. We're having a moment. You're on my show! Okay, cool. Now it's suddenly the Sean show. Is this how you treat all your guests? Well, most of my guests don't treat this show like a therapy session. Okay, Sean, lay off her. She's going through a rough time. Thanks, Leslie. You know, I missed us. I missed us, too. Friends. Friends. Are you guys, like, fucking serious? You didn't solve anything. You just yelled at each other and then hurt my feelings. And? Okay, this interview is over. Viewers, don't try baking. Bye. Hi, Bi Weekly seniors. You four are some of the most creative, fun, spontaneous people I think anyone could ever meet. And I know the whole crew agrees with me. So we made this little video to show you how much we all care about you. 
Nawin is one of the most interesting people I've ever met. I can say with 100% certainty that I've never met anyone like Nawin, and I will probably never meet another person like Nawin. Nawin, stay your quirky true self. Nawin, every time you just simply open your mouth, I just have to laugh. Um, I'm gonna miss that so much. Nawin, I love you. You're so funny. I don't know how a person could be that funny, to be honest with you. You are just full of light. It sucks. I'm like, I, I don't know how I'm gonna cooperate being on campus with you not being there because you have been here my entire, my entire undergrad. Um, and I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Uh, aw. Oh my God, I'm literally crying thinking about Look at this. I'm literally crying thinking about just saying goodbye to you, even though like, I'm gonna see you, whatever. You're one of the funniest, the most thoughtful and kind people I've ever met. And this past year, being your friend and getting so close to you has been absolutely amazing. And I miss you so much. I remember one time in class, we were just kind of joking, talking about what we had to do after class. And she was like, does anyone want to hang out? And I was like, ah, not unless you want to help me clean my room. And she offered to help me clean my room. That's so kind. Kennedy, I just want you to know that the room honestly just like lights up the minute you walk into it. Like you're such like a kind, genuine person. Kennedy, active hours will now, I guess not happen that you're leaving. Kinda, kinda messed up, man. I don't know who, no one can meet the level of act up that you provided. It's basically a big thank you because you were always so welcoming to me as a freshman. Kennedy, I'm gonna miss you so much. Thank you for being such an amazing friend and for always being so warm and welcoming. You always know how to put a smile on my face. Sean, I just wanted to say that I absolutely fucking love your Zoom fits for class. Like, they are the funniest thing. They've been giving me life. I haven't seen enough of them. Uh, Sean Hinton, always hilarious on set and in pitch. I hope you have a great after-college experience. He's always really prepared, um, which is something that really impresses me because I feel like I'm never prepared. You're always awesome. You're such a great director, and you always had so many great ideas. And Bi Weekly definitely will not be the same without you there. Sean Hinton's packages were were funny and they were they were well done um well thought out I, you could tell that sean put a lot of effort into his packages sean hinton has been on bi-weekly since i first started he's always been in like every package since i can remember and honestly i just want him to cook me a meal because he's a really good cook sean dorney i i like deeply love him but at the same time, like, don't have any idea who he is, you know? Like, was he born in Russia? Does he have an Italian citizenship? Like, I'm, I don't know. I don't think anyone ever will know. I mean, I've known about you since freshman year because you're like famous in the World Scholars Program. And I was so excited to get to know you. Um, when I found out you were in bi-weekly, I was like, this shit's cool now. No offense, guys. There's a lot of things that I could say that would sum up Sean as an individual and as a member of Biweekly. But I think the most telling thing I could come up with that speaks to not only his ability to make people laugh, but also his character is his extreme talent in timer cam selfies. You have been a great host for last season and for what was this season. Um, you have this energy that is, um, it's like chaotic and violent, but also very like pleasing to be around. Sean Dorney, my husband, my favorite person ever. I'll miss our pre-pitch grottos dates and just like getting drunk together and reminding him of every bi-weekly deadline ever. So basically like I'm a glorified calendar for Sean Dorney, but I'm gonna miss that and I love him so much, and I love all the seniors so much, and I'm gonna miss them. Congrats to all the graduating seniors. Yay. Um, I'm really upset we didn't get this last semester together. I was really looking forward to spending time with all of you. Hi, my weekly seniors. 
because I'm really sad our first and last season got cut off. I really was looking forward to getting to know all of you. I cannot imagine a more wild and creative group of people to go out into the world and absolutely kick ass. I'm gonna miss you all. It was nice getting to know you, even though I wasn't there for long. And I hope you all figure out what you wanna do. Seniors, thank you guys for welcoming me to the bi-weekly family. I'm sorry our time got cut short, but best of luck next year and with your guys' careers. Kennedy, Sean Dorney, Sean Hinton, and Nawin. You four have played such valuable parts in bi-weekly over the past few years. I can't imagine what the show is gonna be like without you guys. We cannot wait to see what amazing things you guys do in life. And I'm sure I can speak for the whole cast when I say it was an honor working with you. You'll always have a home of bi-weekly. We love you guys. All right, our next guest is a friend of the show. Coming at us from her living room is bird watching expert, Joanne Jorgensen. Hello, Sean. I'm very pleased to be back on the screen. You kept me in the middle of a window watching session. Hi, Joanne. How is your quarantine going? Funny you mention it, Shan. I just found out that's what we've been doing. What? How is that possible? It's been like every headline for the past two months. I know. I guess I'm just not that turned on, as the kids say. You mean tuned in? Oh, sure, that too. I live in a little cottage with my husband, Eugene. There are no people for miles. We grow our own tomatoes and birdseed for sustenance. You eat birdseed? Oh, sure. All great twitchers know to see the bird, you have to be the bird. So, what have you been doing for the past two months? Oh, I've been having a great time. You know, it's prime twitching season. Just yesterday I saw two blue booby warblers. I really hope that's a bird. Of course it's a bird. I think I sent you a picture. Uh, yeah, Joanne, that's just you. Ah, eh, fiddle foo, I goofed up my picture box again. Um, happens to all of us, I guess. So, you've been bird watching 24 7 then? Just like I would be doing anyway if this Catalina virus wasn't zip zapping around. All right, well, coronavirus. Um, have you seen any good birds? Ah, a whole bunch of chooks. But I'm holding out for a crippler. Oh my God, can you say that? I'm a white woman in her 50s. I can say whatever I damn like. I can't argue with that, I suppose. Do you have any tips for anyone at home who wants to pick up bird watching? I can teach you all a basic call. Wow, sounds great. Repeat after me. <clears throat> ooh, ooh, ooh. Um. I can't hear you, Shan. Ooh, ooh. Uh. No, it's it's more like ooh. <clears throat> ooh. Yes. Keep going. Ooh, ooh. Yes, channel your inner feather head. How does it feel? I'm doing it. I'm really doing it. Isn't it just the most fantastic rush? Ever since I started bird watching, I've completely given up meth. Wow. Congrats on that. That's great. Yeah, I gave up tweaking and started twitching. You're setting a really good example for our viewers. Sucker and shingle, Sean! Do you see that? No, I can't see. Get your feed bag! It's a yellow crested wing sparrow! Joanne, we can't see it. Look where I'm pointing! You can't miss it! That's not how webcams work. Wowie zowie, this is a once in a lifetime bird. Turn the camera so we can it's see right it. It's right there. Joanne. Uh, Joanne. Joe, fuck, I wanted to see a yellow crested wing sparrow. We'll be right back. All right, thank you all for joining us on this online session. Thank you to our cast and crew. Um, I hope everyone stays safe. And for one last time, Dorney out. <laughs> Come on, Melinda, you got this. <laughs> this is the remix.
Plus Lorman, spitting like Wheezy, Foxy plus Lorman, boy like the Ram scene.